afraid that I well I'm affected. How to speed up your computer starting up by removing startup programs that are not necessary. Okay, so there's a couple ways to do this. Um, folders that make it, you know, public for you to remove your startup programs is you just click the start button right here and go to all programs and press startup. And right, and usually you'll have some files in there like I, oh, excuse me, um, Skype or whatever, and you can just delete them from there. But more preferable method I like to use is going through um, MS config. So what you do is you press start button, type in MS config, and it'll in the search box here, and then it'll come up saying MS config. Just click on that. And within a few seconds, you should see a box up here saying system configuration. So this is what really controls your um, startup and boot and stuff. So you're just going to go over to the startup tab, and you'll see all a lot of stuff checked. And you can, like, let's say I don't want QuickTime to start up. I can just do that, uncheck that, and it'll remove it. And then you'll have some stuff that, you know, you can uncheck and it won't start up. Um, this really helps out speeding up your computer. I mean, I've got pretty much all this down here and it made my computer faster by 20 seconds of startup time because my laptop's really slow for some reason now. But see if I remove Skype and I don't know what else. I guess I don't need um, Pit Mobile Me because I don't use it. Just click apply, click OK, and then some, sometimes it'll appear saying you need to restart your computer, or sometimes it won't to apply these changes. And basically, you know, you just restart it, and you'll notice a huge difference. Also, um, when you start up your computer um, in Windows 7, you click right there, and there's your list of active programs that are running in the background. So, like, let's say I don't have Skype running. You know, I just quit that. And it wouldn't, it would just, you know, wouldn't start up in a, um, when I started my computer. So, you know, if you want to have it automatically where it starts up, then you just, you know, click, so, um, keep it checked. But anyway, thanks for watching this tutorial. Um, I'm going to start cranking out some new video tutorials soon. Hope you have a good day. Please write five stars if you like it.